Hello, and welcome back to my journey from normal to Norway. So, here we are. Another week has passed, <laughs> and I've kind of stuck to um, what's been sustaining me throughout this uh, quarantine time, which is feel-good reality TV. I gotta say, I've been watching and re-watching a lot of Hometown, Great British Baking Show, Queer Eye, uh, most recently I watched Say I Do, bawled my eyes out, loved every episode. Um, and then now I've just started, uh, the great, I think it's called the great big flower fight. My friend recommended it to me. I was worried it would be a little too competition-y for me, but, um, she said it kind of has the feeling of Great British Baking Show where they're all, you know, supportive of each other and on each other's sides. And, um, yeah, that's really what's been like, feeling comforting to me, I think, throughout this time, and just uh, helped me to feel a little bit better um, during these very, very strange times. Uh, so that's what's been getting me through. Um, let me know what's been getting you through. Uh, if you have any recommendations especially, I would love to hear that. Um, I also, as I've talked before, talked about before on here, I want to do kind of a overhaul of my whole apartment. I want to go through and get rid of a bunch of stuff and reorganize some things and maybe move some things around a little bit. And, um, but I've had a hard time feeling motivated to do that, to start that work. I know it'll be a lot easier once I start it. It's just getting started. That is so, so difficult. Um, so as I've been kind of daydreaming about what the changes could look like, I had a couple of items in mind, just simple things like, you know, throw pillows and whatnot. And so I actually went online and ordered a few things thinking that you know when they come that might spur me on a little more so we'll see how that goes I will uh, keep you updated I will let you know but for now what I wanted to do was uh, the second part in the series that I started last week um, which um, is kind of talking about people who inspire me um, just kind of to celebrate them and um, to kind of say you know what they've meant to me and um, also with the hopes that maybe they will inspire you um, as well so uh, here is number two, not particularly the second. This is not in a, an order like that of like the most inspiring and the second most inspiring. But um, the next person that I wanted to talk about um, is Mindy Kaling, uh, who I love. Um, and I have uh, one of my best friends in my life who we originally bonded over our love of Mindy Kaling, um, which we say is not in a stalkerish way whatsoever. We truly believe that we could, like, be really good friends, which I know a lot of people think about her, <laughs> but I think that just says a lot about who she is. She's somebody that um, a lot of us imagine being good friends with, and I think that talks, that speaks really highly of her character and just um, who she is, the work that she does, and how she, you know, presents herself in the world. Um, so I find her really inspiring just thinking about um, you know, where she came from and just the really, really hard work that she's put in to get herself to where she is really, um, building this career for herself, um, that wasn't handed to her, um, you know, didn't come out of nowhere just by, you know, luck or something. I mean, she really put the work in, you know, going back to after college when she was living in New York with a friend of hers and she and that friend wrote a play about, um, about Matt and Ben and they played Matt and Ben in this play and um and just how that was the very first stepping block on the way to going down the path that she's going down right now and I mean that's incredible I certainly have not felt talented enough myself to write material for myself um I find that really overwhelming and I very much doubt my skills in that area. Um, so to just see how she really went for it and made it happen for herself and just put the work in, proved herself, and then, you know, being able to end up writing on The Office and then from that, um, playing a character on The Office and just all that she's created since then, uh, The Mindy Project. Um, and then um, I really enjoyed, uh, I watched when I was visiting my uh, parents over Valentine's uh, for weddings and a funeral which I really enjoyed. And then um, most recently, uh, Never Have I Ever, which oh, I loved it. If you have not watched it, stop right now, go on Netflix and watch it. It's so good. So good. Um, and, you know, in addition to the amazing work that she's put out there that I really enjoy, I must just really enjoy her style. Um, also her style, literally her fashion. Um, I love, um, 
just how bold she is, the colors, the patterns. Um, she's so herself. She really goes for it. Um, she puts together really, really fun outfits and she really celebrates, I think, fashion and style. The few, um, like pictures that we've been able to see in articles of, um, her home that she had decorated to her style. I love, you know, um, I know it's, it's not for everybody, but I'm definitely, you know, one of those, um, colorful people out there. I mean, my favorite color is hot pink and my favorite combo is pink and orange. Um, I'm not afraid of color, not afraid of pattern. And, um, yeah, I really think that a lot of what she wears and, you know, how she's kind of decorated the world around her is, um, goals for me, for sure. Um, so yeah, I just find a lot of how she lives her life and, what she cares about, um, and the work that she creates and puts out there, um, just is amazing and, um, inspiring for somebody like me who's, you know, I'm, I wanted to be an actor for so long. Maybe that's still in the cards for me. Maybe it's not, I don't know, but now I kind of consider myself more generally as a storyteller and I'm not really sure what that means or what that looks like for right now. It's this, it's me telling my own story, but, um, I think she's an incredible storyteller. Uh, so there's a lot of specific ways in which she's really inspiring to me, but, um, I think she could be for many of you as well. Um, also I wanted to talk about the books that she's written. Um, the first one was, is everyone hanging out without me? Every, is everyone else hanging out without me? And then the second one was, why not me? Which in particular, again, when I was finally taking the plunge and creating this YouTube channel, that was one of those questions that stuck in my head. Um, you know, I talked about last week with Brene Brown and, you know, entering the arena and all of that. And well, another thing that was running through my mind during that time that still runs through my mind when I, you know, get down on myself and question myself and um, don't believe in myself uh, as much as I would like to um, is why not me? You know, because going back to kind of the overall meaning of this YouTube channel, the title and everything, the normal part of me, the normal that I functioned under for decades, um, would be asking why me? Like, you know, why would somebody choose me? Why would that work out for me? Like, why, you know, like why notice me instead of that person? Like really putting myself down and not really giving myself a chance, not, um, really following my dreams and my passions and, and, and my hopes and, and what I want to have happen. And the Norway part of, you know, the title of this whole YouTube channel is the question, why not me? You know, so it's, it's taking that journey, it's making that switch in my brain from why me to why not me, you know, um, I, I deserve to fill up my space in this world, just like everybody else. Um, I have something to offer, something to say. Um, and yeah, that's been really, really helpful to me, um, amongst many things about her, <laughs> as I've already discussed. Um, so if she's not somebody that you're familiar with, I definitely would recommend checking out some of her work, whether it's, um, the books, her acting, the shows she's created. Um, I mean, so much, so much. And I'm so excited to see, you know, where she goes from here. Cause there's, so much left, um, in her career, I know. And so, um, I'm just really excited to see where it goes and, and all she has left to offer. I know that they recently announced that there's going to be a second season of Never Have I Ever. So I'm super looking forward to that. Um, but I guess until then, I'm going to be rewatching the first season <laughs> and I might go do a rewatch of the Mindy Project. Um, yeah, probably all of her work now that I'm thinking about it. Just great, great stuff. So um, she's somebody who has really uh, meant something to me and um, motivated me in times when I need it and um, is definitely somebody that I look up to um, in my own life. And so, um, yeah, if you're looking for a figure like that in your life, here's one recommendation for you. Um, let me know if you... Um, are a fan of hers or, um, if after this you become a fan of hers or, um, any other recommendations you have of people who are inspiring to you, uh, when you get into those tough times in your life, um, where you're kind of questioning who you are and what you want, what you want to be about, who, who motivates you, who helps you to, uh, start answering those questions. Let me know. Maybe there'll be people who, um, I will really take some inspiration from. I would love that. So, 
Um, thanks as always for watching, for listening. Um, would love your feedback, um, answers, questions, hellos, anything. Uh, let me know. I'll be back with you soon. And until then, hada.